so what's up guys uh welcome back this is my boy gerard i'm sling how you guys doing welcome to another video and uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from so well i want to discuss really uh something that is extremely hard for me to discuss you know but i want to be a patriotic nigeria you know just to learn my voice and uh let me just say my mind you know but i will try as much as possible to be systematic about it in a way not to attract any form of uh, hate towards my side you know in this country everybody is trying as much as possible to stay safe you know if you talk you are in deep trouble and if you do not talk you are also in that deep trouble so first let me read this comment coming from uh king rudy that is uh, one of our peace press uh, brother he said with the rate of kidnapping and people acting normal as if it's nothing, not even a statement from security agencies or government officials. Like, what the heck? I'm still gonna read another one coming from uh, a Nigerian in diaspora. This time, this guy said, his name is uh, a sin, Jimo. He said, Nigerians, especially the woke youth are serious and serial clown chasers. Everyone is quick to jump on the justice for Mobad bandwagon, but no justice for the kidnapped Abuja kids. Outcry has been spotted anywhere. Even on their beloved social media clown chasing space. She now because them no be celebrities, Abi. We are just like our government. We only respond when it benefits us or nurses our ego. I have hardly ever seen a genuine cry for justice in Nigeria. Either the gathering are turned to opportunity to party or opportunity to go from page to pay strolling people that don't agree with their nonsense ideologies a country that should wear skate clothes sit at the gate and wait one day i hope we will have not just a responsive government but a people that truly care about their neighbors especially when it doesn't directly massage their own ego well if you check the comment under this man's post some nigeria comments were saying that why don't this guy come from diaspora and fight for us <laughs> there's so we say in fact i think i should even uh, uh read some of the uh, few comments just to tell you how nigerians uh, can be unknowingly wicked yes i'm going to use that word unknowingly wicked if they want to fight for you guys you guys will make fun of that person and if someone is not fighting for you guys you guys will still make fun of that person like what do what the hell do nigerians really really want this is a man crying talking about this this recent kidnapping and uh some People in their comfort of their home, because they have phone, they decide to discredit the guy for speaking out. You sat down in your house for complete hours after hearing this kidnap matter. You said nothing. And someone who decided to speak out, you are telling the person, why the person no call from abroad? Come, come carry Plankard. Say, which right does that person have? Because it's not in Nigeria. <laughs> Well, you know, when uh, Rude Boy, no, not Rude Boy, the guy talked about uh, justice for Mobad. Eh? Mobad bought a day on his own. Eh? And again, I said it the other day. I posted about this kidnapping matter on my page. And I posted TB Joshua's matter. We saw the numbers of hundreds of comments on that TB Joshua. But the kidnap matter, and only 10 comments. Only 10 Nigerians commented. On that kidnap matter so what does that actually tells you we no love each other for this country 
simple and short. Simple and short. I don't know how we can still just relax ourselves like this. People being kidnapped. A father and his six, uh, six girls kidnapped. They released the father, then took one life. The other one, a whole complete family, a mother and his uh, two or three girls, completely wasted. Kidnappers cannot go from household to household to kidnap you. Before, it used to be that, oh, when you are traveling uh, down to your village, because of uh, the quietness of that road, kidnappers will come outside and kidnap you. Even before, even before then, said, even before then, the kidnapping thing was only for the rich people alone. No, we were happy that they were kidnapping the rich, uh, the rich people. But these rich people cannot get security for themselves now. Those police that are supposed to be uh, on the road, safeguarding or ah, the police go. This one go ask for right to police, ask for five police people attached to run. This one go ask for five police people attached to run. People, police are no longer available for the ordinary man again. Now, the rich cannot provide their own security. They cannot buy bulletproof car. They cannot buy some certain security dogs. But what about you, the poor? You can't do nothing. So the kidnapper moved from the rich down to the poor. In fact, if you are a human being, as long as you are breathing, eh, there is something valuable in, in you, in the eyes of the kidnappers. If there is, if money is not valuable, of course you have organs now. <laughs> you have organs now. Why will a kidnapper? Why will a kidnapper kidnap you? For example, why will a kidnapper kidnap you when he can sell your kidney for for twenty million naira, and he will ask you to bring fifteen million naira? You say you don't have. <laughs> and you say I should release you. No, no. But it's painful though. The whole, uh, this, uh, this man. But as of today, we heard that the FCT minister had a meeting with the security agencies in Nigeria. Okay, we heard that. But I'm still afraid. Very, very afraid. I don't know. I'm afraid for the people in Abuja. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid on their behalf. How can a, 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 a capital territory supposed to be the safest heaven in the whole of the country? Like, nothing there. Nothing there that has to do with insecurity coming into the federal capital territory. But unfortunately, that's what we are seeing here. They kidnap many and nobody is talking about it. This is not even the first time. They have been kidnapping, kidnapping, kidnapping. Then, when someone say Nigeria are not hungry enough, people will be asking, why are we saying such things? Well, can you be saying Nigerians are not hungry enough with all those insecurity, the hunger and everything? My brother, you are not hungry enough. Honestly speaking, Nigerians are not hungry or hungry enough. And I don't know when we are going to say enough is enough. They keep kidnapping. Even recently, bandits reportedly adopt two Castina students. Two again, Castina students. Then when that man was talking against, speaking for Nigerians, people are asking him, why is the man talking? Why don't the man come back, come down to Nigeria to, to, to start a current plan card and protesting. If people ask, why do you pay so much attention about David o, Mubad and everything? If I decide to start talking about politics and Nigeria stuff now, well, lie, you start seeing few comments on most posts. But immediately you talk about David o, eh? you, you just be like the nice or kind of uh, something on people's head. <laughs> people want to comment. This is gossip. Gossip thing. No, posted about the video about kidnapping that's supposed to actually attract a lot of persons. They will tell say, no, they are afraid to talk. Oh, they are not asking you to fight for any something, but your comment. Talk. Talk. Nobody is asking you to fight, but talk. So to people who are talking, eh, 
I'm so so glad that they are talking. Hmm? And that the people who, who have been kidnapped, I wish them all the best. It's not easy. I never wish such thing on my worst enemy to be kidnapped. Me, I don't I, I don't ever want to be kidnapped. At least I want to remain in my house and be comfortable there. Now this they say people are afraid to to go out because of uh, the insecurity and everything. If you like, stay in your house. That is security will meet you for the house. If you like, stay in your house. Anywhere you go to. It's bad now. At least we should have some sense of uh, security in our own country. That's the reason why people are even uh, jackpotting out of Nigeria. Some people have money. They have money to live freely in Nigeria. Comfortable life. But they want to travel abroad. Relocate their self and their family. Even their whole entire village. If it's possible. Because of insecurity. It's not because they are suffering. No. You don't know what it means for somebody to sleep with his two eyes closed. There are some Robin's dream. Eh? That a typical Nigerian dream. While, while in Nigeria. That when you travel abroad there, eh, it doesn't have such dreams. As soon as you come to Nigeria, by the time you sleep, you start dreaming useless dreams. Meanwhile, those dreams will come true. But because you are in Nigeria, of the insecurity of your environment, you start having those dreams. And you think some witches and wizards are following you. Now, lie. Now, because of your environment and because of how, what your mind feels, go abroad and you know very free that you can sleep. No criminal, nothing, nothing will come to your door and let, ask yourself if you are going to see such dreams. No, you won't. You won't. Well, I wish you all the best, guys, and uh, catch you next time. Peace.